Hi everyone, this is Michelle from the Scratch Ed team, and I'm here to tell you about some of the new features on the new Scratch Ed website. The first thing you'll see on the home page is that we've added a new top portion that gives an introduction to what is Scratch, as well as some links to different areas on the Scratch Ed website. On the right hand area, there's also an overview video of Scratch, and the new stories, resources, and discussions below. If you are signed in, you'll see this, which features an event and resource in the top portion. One of the main features of the new site is the redesign of the resources section. When you go to the resources page, one of the first things that you'll notice is the featured resource at the top. You can also see previously featured resources on the right hand side. Further down on the page is the new pathways feature. If you're new to Scratch, familiar to Scratch, or experienced with Scratch, there are three pages with curated resources that might be useful for you, so that might be a place that you want to check for ideas. To start searching resources, you can click on a search term below, or you can click on the Explore Resources on the top. You'll see on the right-hand side that we've refined our search terms, and we've also added a new option to search for language. You can also browse the most commented, most bookmarked, and previously featured resources. Or if you have a resource you'd like to share, you can click here to upload it. But for right now, I'm going to look for resources. So let's say, for example, that I'm looking for activity ideas for an elementary music project using Scratch. So I'm going to click on elementary school, activity, and music. And I'm looking primarily for English language resources. You can see on the top here that it's filtered by those four keywords. You can also add and delete search terms. I'm also going to look for resources that have example scratch projects in them. So in this resource, there's some sample scratch projects that have been uploaded, as well as some handouts. Perfect! The next new feature that I'm going to show you is in the Members section. Now you can filter by members' interests, by curricular area, education level, and language. And that way you can find other educators that have similar interests to you. Since I want other educators to be able to connect with me, I'm going to go to My Profile, click on Edit, and Member. When you scroll down, you'll see that there's a new area with vocabularies for you to click on what curricular areas you're interested in. My primary language is English, and I'm going to click on the education levels that I work with and are interested in. And I'm interested in after-school programs, so I'm going to cl click on Other. Save that, and now other educators will be able to find me, and they can contact me by leaving a comment on my profile. The Events page is another new feature that we're really excited about. You can click on the Events tab to see all the events that the Scratch Ed team offers, from introductory workshops to Scratch Educator Meetups, online webinars, our annual Scratch Day, and our biennial Scratch Conference. You can click on the blue links to register for an event or find out more information. And you can also stay informed about upcoming events by joining our mailing list or following us on Twitter and Facebook. So that was a quick tour of some of the new features that you'll find on the website. I hope this has been useful and I look forward to seeing you on Scratch Ed.